This program has been designed to look at the relationship between the distance you must cover and the time it takes to cover that distance while you are accelerating at a constant rate. This problem will assume that you begin your acceleration at rest and that you maintain the same acceleration for that entire distance. Okay, so you can see that the bike tire is at the start of the course, which is the first umbrella. You can see my distance setting is setting four. Changing that will change how much distance there is between the umbrellas. The second umbrella is off the screen at this moment, but that'll change when you start moving. You can see the distance between the umbrellas is just a fraction over 10 meters. And again, each time you set this to a new setting, it'll move the second umbrella farther back. Here, we're a little more than 11 meters. This is 10, this would be 12, so right in the middle would be 11. So this might be like 11.2. Again, give your best estimate. Doesn't have to be perfect. By doing multiple trials, it'll all work its way out. When you hit start motion, the timer will simultaneously start. You allow the bike to accelerate at a constant rate. And when it passes by the second umbrella, you stop the timer, record your distance and the time, stop the motion, and then change your setting. I would suggest doing as many settings as possible. You'll get better results. Make sure you have some really short distances, some medium distances, and some large distances. Once you collect all of your data, bring it over into your graphing program, curve fit your data. Make sure you pick a curve fit that will take you through zero, zero. Okay, this should not be a linear graph. This should not be a proportional graph, but it's one of your other graph types. Once you have your graph completed, hit your finish button, put in your name, put in your graph constant, then it's going to ask you to use your equation to determine the time it would take to travel a distance of 28.9 meters. So put that distance into your equation, plug it in here once you get your answer, and submit to see how you do. Once you get your answers, if they're correct, share them with your instructor. And if they're wrong, try it again or seek help from your instructor. Thank you very much.